So we, we got this topic here, which I'm not very comfortable with. I'm just going to glance through it here. Why you should avoid having financial dealings with men who worship women. This is a Twitter personality. Her name is uh, Shadaya. She says, um, avoid having any financial dealings with a man or men who worship their women because they will always prioritize the queen over the deal. And it's very easy to see the man is compromised that he has been emasculated. His uh, balls have been removed. He has been castrated. This is so painful. If a man has to always involve his woman or has to ask, of, uh, ask for permission from his wife, that is a sign of a defeated man. A man is supposed to be the head of the house and decisive without seeking approval. Mm. It's from a single woman. Obviously. I don't know, but when you get married, the way I understand it, being married for nine years almost, is that your wife, and this is a lesson to you too, is your wife is you. Your wife is a partner. You can't make a decision without your wife. So why bring us under a microscope and start saying that he's, a, he's been emasculated or castrated and stuff like that? Gang, I don't know. I would be surprised if you don't agree with me. No, I agree with you 100%. But like when I read this, this topic, I think this is going towards certain men that are basically under the control and thumb of their wives. Mm. That are not exactly playing that manly role in their relationships or mm -hmm. with their women. And the women are basically in control of everything. Because I read part of the story, and it's a situation whereby the guy presents everything to his wife to get an ap ap approval. approval. And if the wife says no, it's not going to happen. You know, that kind of situation. Yeah. So in that kind of situation, this is not a real man, if I can say that. You get me? Because there's a way you should be able to show that you Gang, are... How much do you love your wife? Me? Yeah. 110%. Thank you very much. Same here, even 120. So, and if your wife says to you that, honey, I don't think that that glass should be close to you, maybe shift it away, what would you do? I don't even, I would, I would ask questions. We would have a discussion. I'd say, mm -hmm. what exactly is the problem with the glass? Mm -hmm. What do you think the glass should be? Mm -hmm. How does the glass affect And if what she's what asking doing? makes sense. If it makes sense, then you can consider it. Uh -huh now. So if the guy you has to me? ask his wife and it makes sense and he says, no, I'm not doing this deal, though. Because my wife, who is very, 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 very academically sound, says so and so, and I see what she's saying. What's wrong with that? There's nothing wrong with that. Love. Because I, mean, the, I would like to, you, can you, you guys are not married yet. Her. There's a certain intuition that women have. There's an extra blessing that women there. bring to the table. Especially if you and your wife are in agreement on certain situations, you can see yourself grow and prosper mm -hmm. and not make certain mistakes. You can seek advice and your wife will say, I don't think you should do that thing. I'm getting a kind of vibe. And she could be right on the money. You get me? Right. But she's not controlling mm. yeah. you. She also comes to you with similar things as well. But yeah. in this kind of situation, this is a man that whatever the wife says goes. Mm -hmm. that's, that's the only way I can look at this story and make sense of it. Mm -hmm. uh, you get or, where I'm coming from? Or another way to make sense of it is that the, the person that tweeted this listens to Andrew Tate. Oh, my Ooh. God. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Right. While that guy is all for men and everything, I, I'm not exactly a fan. I, I, don't, I think that some of his, uh, most of his uh, expressions are a bit um, misogynist. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not a, an Andrew Tate fan. I, I, I find him very, quite irritating. He's, it's, it's like a, it's what you call them. It's like a bum. It's like a rich bum to me. He just says anything that comes to his mind. But whatever the case, man. But yeah. when you get married... I will tell you something. If you I, will get married. I will get that's married. That's your question. If you, you, will, if get you will get married. <laughs> <laughs> Even when you do get married, you know I suggest, yeah. listen to your wife. There's too many times yeah. my wife has been so accurate and I've yeah. gone the other way. Yeah. And I've come back to say, well, baby, you were right. Mm. And it's very, so now I listen to her. That intuition you spoke about, yeah. it's the real thing. I see. Absolutely I'll, real. I'll actually chip it in. You know, if you grow up in a family uh, where everything is you know, all intact, a nuclear family, your father, your mother, you see, you, as a child, you tend to see the signs, you tend to see the fact that, you know, sometimes when your mother says this, it is what actually it turns out to be. Mm -hmm. So as a child, you're no different from the father. Do you understand? When your mother says this to your father, and you see it comes out, you just get that cue that. Right. Apart from, um, I think in our, let's like say in our culture, culture yeah, our mothers are more spiritually inclined. Mm. You can bring it to that angle of spiritual. The divine. Do you understand? Mm. So they always tend to get it right when it comes to You know that. when they're always right? When, you, when your yeah. wife says to you, your partner says to you, that girl, I don't yeah. like her. I don't like her.
They start to second guess. Be believe her, run away. That's all yeah. I'm going to say. They have that. Preach. Thing. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So next quick fire here. Apostle Emmanuel Okose says, you can't have a bestie, a best friend of the opposite sex in a marriage or a relationship. Let's start with the relationship guys here. <laughs> you got best friends of the ladies? Oh, personally for me, I don't... That's untreaded territory for me mm. in a relationship. Mm. I don't believe in um, opposite sex best friend. Mm. Do you understand? Inside or outside a relationship, you should just don't believe that your ah, best friend should be a female. It's, uh, ah. it's going to sound one kind of way if I paint it that it's way. But like, okay. I just feel like there must have been something there. There must have if, been... Or there's... No, not this, but oh, they're almost. like almost... <laughs> or there's an attraction there. Oh, Do you understand? In so, that situation, then why don't you date your best friend? Exactly. Get married to your best friend. Have kids with your best friend. No need for DNA tests. <laughs> have a best friend, but be, let that be the partner you have. Exactly. Marry your best friend. Ooh. Date your best friend. Preach! Oh. Yeah. You're preaching, gang. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he has a word. Hero, <laughs> as a hero. Let's hear, sure let's hear from Miro. Let's hear from Miro. I'm in silence on this. <laughs> <laughs> I know you comfortably just. So, who's your ideas. best friend? Who's your guy? Guy or girl? Girl. Who's a girl? <laughs> <laughs> that, that's what we're saying. That's what we're saying. Here, I suspect girl. your best friend I mean, is a girl. Yes, yes. Okay, she is a you girl. have a partner. Yes, she is the partner. She is the partner. Yes. Okay. See, I don't Marina, like when people that's plan. Okay. I don't like when people plan and come to the show. I said it right there. No. So now that your bestie is your partner, yes. do you have another person who's close to being a best friend who's of the opposite sex? Who's of Would the you have somebody else who's the opposite sex and who's close to being a best friend? It's, it's dangerous. It's or dangerous. You? But do you? No, so I don't. You don't. Yes. Will you ever? Do you think that no, you could? You should. I, you I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Is it allowed? Oh, so no, it's not allowed. So let me ask you, okay. would you allow your wife to have a best friend that's a man? That is a man. No, because I don't have a best Why friend that, that is a woman. Why are you restricting her? Why can't she have a best friend as a man? Because I don't trust men. Uh, <laughs> and I know what's up. And I, I know that in the so past. So men, you inclusive? Uh, yes. No, now. <laughs> Why are you trying to be <laughs> okay to be like let's, let's, let's take it a step further. Would right. you allow her to have a female best friend? I should be her best friend, to be honest. Because... You, the best friend of anybody has the person's ear, even mm. much more than mm. their partner's. Mm. So if your partner is not your best friend, trust me, you have a competitor, whether yeah, male yeah. or female. Mm -hmm. You're competing mm -hmm. for the person's attention. So, oh, the bestie says something to her, and then you say something to her, and because she trusts her best friend so much, and she trusts you so much, everything is just hitting up. So, like, you have a competition. So if, as a man, your wife has a female best friend, and they are so close, I mean, she can be the one that is feeding her all of those information that is causing problems in the household. Yeah. So yes, mm -hmm. I, I just genuinely believe that your partner should, should be, be your best, best friend. friend. That's the best bet. Okay, I want to paint a scenario. What mm -hmm. if, you know, you are three in a friendship? You know, there are, there's a case of like two guys you can't really or two have girls two best friends. and one guy that are so close mm -hmm. and two of them, maybe a guy and the guy and one of the girls eventually get to marry each other. Mm -hmm. Obviously, the other girl is going to be your best friend. Yeah, mm -hmm. but we eventually, when you guys get married, the two girls, the other, the other person in the yeah. relationship, you have to go their way. Like, it can't be but the same. It will still be your friend, right? Not best friend. Not best friend. Not best friend. Listen, okay. listen. I know you, you, you're looking at a menage a trois <laughs> <show. laughs> <laughs> So let's not take it there. Yeah. But I get where you're coming from. Yeah. Yeah. You can have friends. Okay. The way I see it, you can have friends. But that categorizing as a best friend, okay. you can no longer have if it's All not right. your partner. All you right. can have friends that are close to you, but they're limited right. into, mm. into their place in your life now that you have a partner or yep. you have a wife. Yeah. Okay, so, so it's just that in the past, I had a very different uh, um, um, preference or very different opinion about this. But I, I'm just simply going to say that it's dangerous, like you said. But... You and your partner have to note that you are individuals. You and your partner have to note that love, trust, fidelity, and all of that are very important factors. And trust, mm -hmm. whether you like it or not, is the biggest factor. If that is compromised, if you restrict your partner and say, no, you can't do this, you are going to impede on his individualism. Right. And that is unsafe for a couple. I'm just going to leave it there. I'm not going to go to it because I've, th these things have, have come up in my life before. Right? Yeah. I would like to say that women are very intuitive. That is unmistakable. Very intuitive. You should always listen to your partner who's a woman. Um, 
I'll just, I'll, I'll just, I'll, I'll just leave it there. <laughs> get away. Get away. Get away. <laughs> Let's get away. Let's take a break. Let's take a break. We've got more to talk about. Remember our main topic for today. We're talking about this is in relationships and everything. So do stay tuned. Still the black table. Let's uh, replenish our drinks. And when we get back, I will be more inebriated. Sorry. Ah. We'll be more positioned to talk about our main topic. We'll be back. Oh. <laughs>